Welcome to another tutorial from simplephoto.com. Uh, this tutorial is going to go over the this tool right here, patch tool. Uh, I had started doing a session with the first six tools and was going to do another video with the next section here, but I think I'll do one tutorial for each tool uh, to keep them shorter. So this patch tool is pretty similar to uh, this clone stamp tool except it's sort of a smart clone tool. So we have a landscape here and the patch tool is uh, made to replace pixels on an image with something else. So if we zoom in to this landscape and uh, a common problem is dust for example in the sensor. Here you can see there was a dust spec and I'll just quickly make a few more dust ten dust spots. Now this here patch tool, uh, spot healing brush tool, uh, shortcut J, all of these are J. If you click and hold on here you'll get the list. Uh, so this one all you have to do, you get your uh, brush size uh, from up here. Diameter changes your diameter of the brush. Hardness is the edge if you want it a soft or hard brush. Uh, spacing, I'm not actually sure what that does. Angle is where it picks it from, I think. And okay, so I'll show you how it works. So all you have to do is click on the error and make sure it's all covered in the brush. Selection, you can see that it's getting dark where I'm brushing. And then go and it'll disappear. So that works really good for dust. You just click and scribble and it'll take it away. Uh, if we look at other areas you can do these rocks here. I brush them. So for areas that are small that need to be replaced, uh, this is a really good tool that works quickly. I'll give myself some more dust again. Next tool, the healing brush tool is basically the same thing as the last tool, except you have to tell it where to sample from. If I try and brush without telling it where, oh, I already have a spot. Okay, I pick the spot by pressing down the Alt key and clicking down. And now when I brush over here, you can see that crosshair, that's where it's sampling from. And then it'll match it again. So this works especially well if you, or if the Photoshop is having problems matching what it's supposed to be painting or fixing. Uh, patch tool. Uh, this one is good for cloning larger areas. And again, you select your area by clicking and dragging around, and then depending on how it's set up up here. Right now I have it as the source. So now I move this around and pick where I place. This is where it's going to grab from. So place over here is going to grab blue sky to replace it with. This works good for uh, larger areas. And just note when you try a brush or do something else to the image, uh, this selection here, if you try a brush over here now it's not going to work because only what you do is affected inside this selection box. So to get rid of this selection when you're done doing that you have to go select, deselect. So trying that on a different area down here if we were going to yep, erase this bunch of trees here, I draw my selection pick where I want it to sample from and it is pretty well meshed in there. Last one, red eye tool. No red eyes on here but you just I guess draw a square over the red eye and it'll fix it. Haven't used that. Alright, that's all for the first one, healing brush patch tool tools. Check out more tutorials on simplephoto.com.